Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to set up Python, C, C++ and Java in Visual Studio. Start with Python. Before using Python, we have to install Visual Studio code. So, let us download it. After searching for Visual Studio, select the first link, this official Visual Studio link. And now you can install the Visual Studio for 64-bit in Windows. If you have a 32-bit, you can change the version and you can install it. Ports from Windows 7 to Windows 11. So uh, now I am cancelling the program because I have already installed in my the PC. Now I am going to run the setup. Here I am setting the setup for in C drive. You can see. Install. Let us run. This is the welcome page of the Visual Studio. Here you can create new files. Before creating the new files, we have to open a folder for it. So the fold that folder will support the Visual Studio to open new files, new uh, languages, such. Labeling the name as uh, Visual Studio Tutorials. After selecting the folder, we have to create a new file for running the programs. Select the new folder, labeling as Python, as we are going to start with Python. Now I am creating a new file, demo.py. In this, we are going to use a Python code. We need to download an extension for it to compile the Python. So it's recommending a Python ID already. The ID is recommending for us to download a Python compiler. After setting up, we can run and debug the file. Let's start writing. Now print hello from top 10 decky channel. You can see the output here. The print statement has been worked. So this is the Python setup. Next, we will be seeing about C and C++ setup. Next, we will be seeing about C++ setup. So before that, we want to create a file for it. Handling C and C++ is a folder. We want to create a new file in it. Creating a file name with demo.c. The file name can be anything. Here we can code. Now we need a compiler for it. So in extension we could type C or C++ extension pack from Microsoft. After we have to install it. Now after installing we need a external compiler to compile. So, I have been already installed. So, uh, it's recommending me you ask include std.h as a uh, line. But when you try, it shows a red color line or an error. So, that we have to install mingw. The mingw file is a compiler file which will compile the C and C programs using GCC. We have to 
download it from Google and we have to run it. The Microsoft extension pack will be having only C and C++ codes and it supports. So we have to install the compiler and the debugger. So we have to install MingGW setup. In Google, we have to type MingGW GNU for Windows. On the first link, we can see SourceForge.net dead. Here, SourceForge MingGW minimalize GNU for Windows. It is an external setup to download the compiler for C and C++. Even code blocks, we have to use this MingGW setup. Now let us try to install it. Paste the path in C drive. I have already have the path, so I am exactly replacing the file. Now we have I have already installed MingGW base and MingGW32 and the developer tools. If you need, you can use add a compiler or any other things you externally you want like objective programming or any add a process uh, add a compilers. After that, you want to apply the changes. Now we have to paste the compiler path in environmental variables. So our computer will be knowing that the MingGW is being installed. Get into the MingGW folder and then now copy the path above. Now paste the path in environmental variables. Select path. Paste new. I have the path already in existing. Now save the files. Let's continue with the code. In while. Now the code has been completed in terminal. Let us check the GCC is installed or not. GCC dash version will give us the GCC version name and the it's installed or not. Now we have to compile the file GCC tab so that we can get into the folder and name of the file uh, name of the C file and hyphen O is objective file where the exe executive file will be generated now dot backslash the executive file name we have been given you can see that subscribe the channel for more tech related contents if you want to see the results in output window you can use dot code and extension. For C++ you can use demo.cpp. This is a setup for C and C++ using MinGW compiler in Visual Studio Code. Next we will be seeing about the Java. First let us try to create a folder for Java. The folder must not lie inside a subfolders. So check 3, create a new folder, the create folder must not overlap with any other folders, it will cause problem with main class in Java, naming in dash Java, create a new file inside it, demo.java, before starting at the code, we need to install the JPK, Java development kit. This will help you to create the Java runtime environment. Yes. 
The link for the Java development kit will be enabled in the description. C folder, we can see the well, Java with program files. After the installation, you can view it here. If you want that, we can copy paste the and zip file. Now, in Google, you can start searching for JDK for Windows. The first link from Oracle, you can start downloading for Linux. It's needed for Linux. But we need for Windows, so we can start using the installer. Second link. After you spawn in, we can drag. And in the C file, you can see the Java JDK. Copy the bin file. And similarly, we done for C in main GW. After getting it a bit, copy the path and start pasting in the environmental variable. Inside path. Now we can pack any with our core. Here you can see that the first one compiler is for Python and the second compiler is for C and C++. Now let's start writing the core. The JDK grammar is set. Java is enabled and auto detect has been enabled. Now let's start writing the pool. Wiles demo. This out. Thank you for your support. We have three. Here. Here. Well, you can see that it's in the red color. Yes. This may be a boss because of class mis variables. Now right click on it and move to the original class. This will resolve the issue. Nope, you are unable to draw. That's it. No, you just completely work. Now you can run and deep up the port. Now this process resolved all the errors as been broken. And the compiler is ready to compile the port. Well, friendly, always a private access. That's either output has been generated. Thanks for supporting. This is the setup of Java in Visual Studio. Although my personal best IDE I use for Java is Intel IJ. The Intel IJ is very simple and more easy for beginners to start a new project and to build applications.
to start creating a new project we have to get into the file menu and select a new start with new project now you must enter the title this id also supports kotlin for android programming html in our case we will be using java so selecting java and next creating the project now the class menu has been found the hello world program is being created in a simple way this process starts running it takes time on run over first time this process is very simple as compared to Visual Studio, so we personally liked it. The hello world has been printed. Selecting the best ID is the key to unlock our skill programming potential for developing projects and applications. So that's it. If any tutorial is needed for Intel IJ, just mention in the comment section. I post a video on this talk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos.